Today I'm going to talk about two stones that not only look very similar, but have very confusingly similar names. Here are the differences to know about ruby versus rubellite. To make it simple, rubellite is essentially a tourmaline that actually looks very similar to a ruby. In general, I would say a rubellite tourmaline actually has more of that kind of hot pink color, more of a raspberry red versus a ruby, which is often more of a true red. But if you love those tones of kind of hot pink, a rubellite could definitely be a great option for you. Tourmalines in general are very interesting gemstones. They're actually an entire group of gems and they have very complex and different sort of chemical compositions and structures. Whereas ruby is a lot more straightforward, it's simply a variety of corundum, which is also sapphire, so it's essentially a red sapphire. While rubellite tourmalines are definitely high value and they're definitely getting harder to source in those very high quality hot pink reddish colors, in general they're a lot less rare and easier to find than rubies. Of course this also means they're generally a lot less expensive and the other interesting thing about tourmaline is that it often grows in pegmatite. A pegmatite makes you think of the inside of a geode for example. You often see it with amethyst and it's a large rock that's been cut with all those little crystals inside and crystals that grow in this form generally tend to be able to grow in larger carrot sizes and they also tend to be very eye clean so these are great traits that rubellite definitely has. Of course, as I've said many times, high qualities of ruby are one of the rarest and most expensive gemstones on the market today, even more so than diamonds. It is extremely difficult to source a ruby right now, especially over one carat that has that best saturated, high quality, beautiful red to purplish red color, medium to medium dark tone, and that wonderful brilliance and light reflection and sparkle that you get in the finest quality rubies. Of course, because they do command such high prices, you tend to have to sacrifice something when you're sourcing a ruby. And with color, you're gonna get more darker, almost like a brownish tint in your red ruby. Sometimes even more of a purplish color, you're going to often sacrifice some transparency and get more of a cloudy or more opaque finish instead of that sparkling crystal transparency. And in general, these stones are with, with other stones, you tend to be seen cut into cabochons because they cabochon is meant to show off the color, definitely more so than transparency. So if you absolutely love the look of a ruby, but your budget does not allow for some of those very high quality stones, a rubellite is an amazing option. You're definitely gonna get a much higher quality look, more sparkle, more saturated color. Again, more of that raspberry red color with a rubellite versus a lower quality ruby, and your budget is definitely gonna be thankful for it. Rubellite is also the birthstone for October, and one thing to know is that it is around a seven and a half on the most hardness scale, so it's definitely less hard than ruby, which is a nine. So it might be more suited towards a cocktail ring, otherwise you have to be very uh, cognizant wherein you're wearing it in a ring, especially every day, but it's great for necklaces and earrings and other pieces of jewelry. The other very interesting thing to know about tourmaline is that it has very high birefringence, and what this means is that it's similar to pleochroism, where it can reflect light in two different directions. And with tourmaline, this often gives it the look of having multiple colors when you look at the stone face up. So this is very similar to when we look at tanzanites and you get that kind of violet and then a more saturated blue color. With tourmalines, you can get different tones of different colors face up. And this is very unique and some people really love it. Uh, with a rubellite, because some people do want to have that true ruby look, the pleochroism could definitely devalue the stone because it's going to be a little bit of a tell that it is a tourmaline and not a ruby. But of course, this is totally in the eye of the beholder, just something to keep in mind if you're shopping for this stone. Overall, both ruby and rubellite are amazing, gorgeous stones that can have stunning saturated colors and look very similar. So while rubellite is definitely a lot less known than ruby, it's definitely one to keep in your back pocket, especially if you're born in October or just want that beautiful look of a saturated ruby for a lot less. Thank you so much for watching. If you have any questions about ruby or rubellite, please leave them in the comments below and visit us on our main page at winstongemsandjewelry.com.